How you doing today? My name is Mark, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to connect to Access. So I have a little bit of data in here already, but this is basically a new database. So all I need to do is go to external data, open up my my Outlook. So I mean, open up my external data and new data source. So go to new data source. And then I'm going to go down here to other source and I'm going to select Outlook folder. And I'm going to go into the Outlook folder and I can append the data or I could just import all the data in. So there's two ways. So if I import all the data in, then the data is going to be here for me to manipulate, but I'm not going to affect Outlook. So if I append to a to a table or link to a source and I'm going to I'm going to link to a source now. So if I go in here, click on address book. Of course, yours is going to be different than mine. So you would all you would you would find a different. Um, tape. A different. Um, contact group in here that you would select from. So I created one just so that I don't show anybody's personal information, which is Congress. So I just go ahead and import it. And I already have a folder that I imported named Congress that we're going to look at later. But I'm going to call this one Congress 2. So next thing I'm going to do, just finish. And it finished importing. So I have Congress 2 here. Now just note, when you see this symbol over here, you're going to know that you are connected to Outlook. So any changes that I make here are going to change in Outlook as well. Sometimes it won't let you change it. It depends on the type of data. But right now, so I could change the title of this person and just change it to Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. And there it is. So if I go, if you go into access, it's the title is going to change. So it makes it easier because because you know it's a little bit difficult when you're in access. I mean, Outlook, when you're in Outlook and you're trying to make changes, you have to open up each each name and make the change. So this way I can change multiple records and I have the data here so I can, like say for example, if I want to add a department to everybody, I could go down here. If they're all the same department, I could do this and it'll be fine. So this, this makes it much easier. So this right here, this this is it. So this is how you import it. So now I'm going to, um, you can stay here and I'm going to talk about some more things that you could do. Okay, so now one, the thing that I want to show you here is that, all right, I have this data that I imported and this data is, is connected, whoops, sorry, this one is connected to Outlook. So everything you see here is what what is an outlook you know sometimes you may have to refresh it and after you make an update you may have to refresh outlook as well in order to see the changes so one of the things that i did was i created a database so that every time i i'm using data with people i i sometimes like to add mr and mrs in front of the name so that way if i send out an email especially because a lot of times I'm dealing with people in Portuguese, so I do this for them because they usually start off with a certain message that is generic, you know, specific. So in English, you may not have to do it, but in case you want to, or in case you want to have something that you have to change continually based on some sort of criteria, you can do this, but this is one example. So I created this table called names. So on this table, the ID field is not not important, but the name and the title is there. So what this is, is a table with all the male names and female names with the gender specific titles. So I left out, you know, certain names like, I don't know, um, Taylor, 
and names like that that can go both ways. Um, Riley, those types of names. As far as I know, there there might be a couple of those types of names in there, but for the most part, I left out those those names that are usually male and female. So there there'll be a few of them, and this is like the top, I don't know, two thousand names, somewhere around there. So I have have a lot of the names, so it's going to take out a lot of it's going to reduce a lot of work. But of course, you always have some of these names that are a little bit strange. And but you could always add it to the list and in the future you won't have to deal with that name again. And so I have this this name list. So names and title. Now what I did was I created a a query, an update query, where I put I put in this information here. So let's look at look at this from the zoom. So I have names and title from this name database name table and the title is the field within there and that's the first one so the second one and that's for the database congress 2 which is connected to outlook and i have the for the title so the the name title is going to change and what I did was I also connected connected name with first name because the name field and title, and you could give it the same name so that you could make it easier. But it doesn't have to be the same name. So I have in the names database, I also have the name name field, and the name field is connected to the first name field. And title, it'll, it's going to update the title. So if I look here, I have the the names dot name. So this is a name database that is going to update it to that field, and it's already connected. So so if it's not connected, I've to, I would have to put um names names equal congress two dot names names dot na names dot name equal congress two dot first i'm sorry like that but so i have this table here and you know we look here you can see that on the title i don't have no names in the title so once i once i update the convert so you could you could look at the data and then just hit run and it's going to, if you have your warning set on, it's going to give you a warning that it's going to update. And this could take a couple of minutes, but it's updating right now. And some of you might have a faster computer than I do. But as this updates, you will be able to do two things. You're going to be able to go to your Outlook, and it's going to be updated in your Outlook. Or, or you can go to the table, so it's going to ask you if you want to do it to update it. If you do, if you realize that you made a mistake, of course, click no. Sometimes after I do this, I realize I made a mistake, but I know this is correct. And here it is. So it's added Mr. and Mrs. to all the person's names, and I have it set up here. Now, if I if I go to Outlook, this will be updated in my Outlook. And I and this is something that you could do yourself, so you can connect it to Outlook. And I'm just not going to show Outlook because I have a lot of data in there connected to other people, and I don't want to reveal any privacy. But these are politicians, and they have sacrificed their um, public, their private life for public. So, and. Also, you should contact them and complain about something that you don't disagree, that you don't agree with as well if you feel like you should. So we have this information here, and therefore, that's how you that's all you have to do. So now I have other things that that I could I could do. I could also add add a um, column to this, but it will not show up in the other database. 
So I can um, just manipulate this and work with the data and it's connected to it. Now, if I want to say, for example, I can also import it, which I did previously. I imported all the data and I've made all the changes. Now this one here, it's malleable and I can change it to the way that I want. Now, one thing to mention is it's not going to have all the inform all the tables, I mean all of the um, fields that you would see in Outlook itself. So if you want to have all of the fields, which to me I do it this way because the other one there's too many fields that you don't really need. But if you want to import all those fields, you can. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to outlet, export Outlook into a CSV file. And then you import it into this as a CSV v file. And it's going to have all those, those fields. Now, once I import it, I can change the data as I would like. I can export it again to a CSV file. And then I can go to Outlook. I can delete the information that the tables that I have there or the, or the contacts that I just updated and import them again. And then everything will be updated to the to the new standard. That's something extra that you can do if you want all those fields. But this is just to show you like a quick way where you can connect to Outlook. And I wanted to keep this as short as possible. So I don't go into like a long video that people don't really need. So I'll talk about a new subject in the future, but I just want to show you how to connect to Outlook. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, contact me below, send a message, and there should be additional contact information for you to reach me on my channel. But thanks a lot for, for watching the video. And any comments, please feel free to, to comment away. If you like it, didn't like it, whatever you feel.